Here we're going to create an animated email signature using Canva. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along you can click the link in the description to try Canva for free or simply use it for easier login access. So if you're on the main dashboard and you type in email signature it's going to give us a bunch of different variations and just by clicking on one here we're not going to actually use it. I just want to show you that they're normally around 400 by 200. So ideally when you create a new design you want it to be around here. It could probably be a little less so say like 400 by 150 will do. So all right, so now that we know that, I'm just gonna be in my dashboard here. I'm gonna do create a design. And what we wanna do is custom size. So I would say about 400 by like 150. So as we already see right here, 400 by 200. I'd say anywhere around you know 150 to 200. You could probably do 100 if you want, but that's just giving you a good idea. Let's do create new design. All right, and so here we have it. Now we wanna add our text in there. So I'm gonna do a text box. I'm just gonna do my name. And of course, we're gonna to wanna to make it much bigger. So what I can do is just highlight all of this and we can do the size. Let's not decrease it like that. Let's do something like a little bit too big, still too much, still too much, maybe 28. Okay, could do a little bit bigger, something like that. Now, of course, since it's signature, we probably wanna add some cursive to it. So what we can do is look for some fonts here. And as you can see, there's gonna be plenty that we can choose from, but what I wanna do is go right here to the font. And what I can do is just type in cursive to search for something that's gonna be similar. And there's plenty to choose from, as you can see here. And, and a lot of these are gonna be a little bit smaller and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna you know, go through and pick the perfect one. You can do that. But once you find one that you like, you'll probably wanna make it a little bit bigger. And of course, we can center it as well. Perfect. Now, the last thing that we can do, once we are clicking on it right here, simply click on animate. And what we wanna do is we can pick one of these. So it's gonna be animated. Typewriter is not too bad. Uh, I don't care for those as much. Anyone that kinda of looks like it could be writing, right? Like something like that isn't too bad. Bounce is all right. Spread, no thanks. Uh, definitely not that one. You can use any of these, it's really up to you, but I think typewriter is gonna work the best here. And of course, speed, hmm, let's see. I wanna make it quicker something like that, that can be fine. And once we have that, we are gonna be good to go. Now what we can do here is simply click on play and it's gonna showcase what it looks like when we play it. Last but not least, let's save it. This is gonna be an important part. So let's click on share here, let's do download. And while this is a video, we don't wanna do that because you're not gonna be able to put a video in your signature. You will be able to put a picture, which is gonna be a GIF. So it's gonna be a short clip no sound, we can save it exactly as it is. If you have Canva Pro, you can do the transparent background. Ideally, if your, say your email is gonna be white in the first place, shouldn't be a big deal, but of course, if you have that, you can definitely check it off and do the transparent background. Last but not least is gonna be download, let's do that. And I'm just gonna open it up and show it to you once we are done. All right, and that's gonna conclude this animated email signature tutorial from Canva. If you got any value out of this, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And if you made it to the end, a virtual high five for you. I will leave a link to a free gift in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business if that's what you're into. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.